Hello sports fans, welcome to Electro Sports, I'm Colonel Failure and you are watching Super Mega Baseball with Bulldozer Power uh, as we're about to enter the third game of the season. So far Bulldozer Power have racked up a tremendous number of runs uh, over their two games so far and, uh, and once again the difficulty has been increased to hopefully make uh, more of a challenge as we go into the third game of the season against the Dodgers. Now you'll currently see rolling around the bottom of the screen uh, a whole bunch of predictions as to how this season's going to go. If you'd like to add your own in the comments, uh, be sure to leave some kind of an idea of, of which team you think is going to get it all done, uh, along with the hashtag, I think this team will win. Uh, there you go, that's a spontaneous hashtag for you right there. Uh, let's get to the game, the Dodgers 1-1 one one at the moment. Uh, they'll be starting out with Bolivar Vincenzo at pitcher, uh, whereas we will be running Jay Black and Cows. So here it is, the Dodgers versus Bulldozer Power. Uh, keep an eye out for uh, He's Minyu there and, uh, and Steve Coral. And uh, who else have we got in there? I don't know, we've got some other players on the Dodgers team to look out for. But we, re we really don't care about those because uh, it's, all about, uh, it's all about Bulldozer Power and what they can do. Will the additional difficulty make things any more challenging or will this be another exhibition in baseball supremacy? Now batting number 12. The third baseman. Hemming Fleshman first at bat. Uh, Black and Cow is, uh, is is checking his uh, his pitching arsenal, and uh, and he's going to let the first one go just to see what he gets out of it. Well, okay. Somehow we got a swing out of that, which is on uh, pff, not what I expected. Uh, let's see. Strike two. Can we deal with the first man at the plate? Yes, we can. Uh, lead off batter, I don't think so. Uh, first strike out there. Shining Coral up next uh, is going to uh, going to see what sort of metal she's got in that bat. Uh, now that's gone nice and high. The fielder is underneath it. It's failure and he's got it. Out to there. Here's Dan the Man. Uh, one run batted in this seed. He's only batting 250. Uh, which is really quite appalling for someone of uh, of this pedigree. Strike one. What a beautiful pitch that was. Uh, here comes the faithful slider. That one has gone a smidge foul. Smidge there. Technical terminology. Yep, well foul. Uh, let's see if he falls for this old trick. He hasn't. Uh, okay, I'll tell you what, have a fastball. We haven't thrown any of those yet. Uh, try try this on for size. I'm going to put it about there. Well, there you go. Uh, three batters, three outs, and, uh, and Bulldozer Power are now coming out. Are they going to make this look easy, uh, or is the increased difficulty going to uh, take its toll early on. His Ulysses failure, he's batting 7-1-4 for the season, which is outrageous, uh, with two home runs, five runs batted in. Uh, we swing at nothing on the first pitch. You should know that by now, you comedian. We'll swing at that, though. It got plenty underneath it, but it's, it's no use because it went foul. Yep, and he, he's put that one largely in the same place. And that one as well. So the failure's timing appears to be a little bit off today. Should not have swung at that, but it was good enough anyway. Uh, that one was possibly going for a ball, but it's enough to get him on base. Magic. Now batting number 35, the left fielder. With four home runs and 16 runs batted in, that's pretty much a season as far as hookers is concerned. What are you thinking there, dude? No, I, I'm going to let you throw a strike. Can you throw a strike? The strike zone's quite big, you know. There you go. Right, here I come. Well, okay, well, he got he got underneath it, but that one again has gone to the same place. You have to wonder whether the batting timing is uh, is on on form today. Oh, no. Oh, dearie me. Caught out by the shortstop there. Uh, and that, uh, that sends uh, hookers back to the dugout. But here's everyone's favourite. It's Bam Bam Puckeye. Uh, is she going to help shift any more merchandise with her performance this week? What are you doing? Uh, fooled by a, a, 
a change up there, I think. But that one's got the mustard. There we go. And that's enough for a two base hit. Bam Bam Puckeye never failing to deliver. Uh, and actually, her first at bat has typically not been very good. But this time around, she manages to get it done. Loving it. Here comes Ninja Pumpkin. Not even bothered, Gov. That one has been popped into the crowd. Yeah, as if. Again, I mean, you've got to try and sell me on some of these. Oh, and an unforced error there. Let's us get a run in. Um, and uh, Andy was safe there as well. Uh, fortunate there that the second baseman has got stone hands. Here comes Carface. He's having a good season so far. Uh, can he keep up the performance today? When he eventually swings at one, I'm sure we'll find out. Uh, and this pitcher is using up an awful lot of his juice here for, for no real benefit. Uh, that was strike two, though. Uh, and Carface gets a piece of it. No, he, no, he got all of it. That one's out with the dumpsters. Uh, it's going to be uh, picked up by uh, someone who is currently between houses uh, later on, and hopefully they'll be able to trade that in uh, for a hot dog or some such to a, a fan who may want one of uh, Carface's many home runs of the season. Is Sonny Watt. Arguably not the best uh, batter that we've got on the team. I wasn't really going to swing at that, but it uh, turns out the timing was pretty good. Um, yes, uh, Sonny Watt there uh, actually doing better than usual. I was about to kind of diss him a little bit by saying he's not the best player on the team, but he, he did fine. Uh, here comes Steve Murray. Smile as big as the 4th of July. Which I imagine is quite big. Come on there, pitcher. Anytime you like. Keep it coming. I'm ready for you. I'm coiled. Like a viper. And uh, the, the kind of viper that gets a double play. Um, and, uh, and that's the side retired. Uh, but there you go. Bulldozer power off to an early lead uh, with four runs. Had hopes this one would be a little bit closer. Maybe that was a fluke. Uh, we'll see if their, uh, their second order of bat uh, manages to do anything better than the first order. There's strike one. Now he swung at that, so uh, so I might uh, I might fling this one flipping anywhere. Let's have a let's have a try try this one. Spookily he didn't bite at that. He's got a piece of that. That's going to get thrown to first by Bam Bam, and he's out. The Dodgers so far not looking particularly impressive. Take your time. There you go. Well, as it turns out, taking time, no problem at all. And that's two outs. That's it. Let's dispatch these guys nice and quick. Ooh, very nice. A swing and a miss. Dive or something. Ah, that's three outs. Uh, very few pitches required there to retire the Dodgers, who are still yet to have a hit here in the second innings. Next up is Lee Hu. Number 30, the first baseman. Batting over 500. He's pretty happy with his performance so far. And so am I. Oh, he swung at the first one and got out. That's why we don't swing at the first one. It's, uh, it's bad luck to do so. Here comes Black and Count. He really doesn't have anything to prove. He's doing a fine, fine job on the mound. Uh, but if he can uh, repeat the uh, performance of last week's picture, that would be pretty terrific as well. Strike one, ball one. Swung at that. Too late. He's going to be out. Second base, throws to first, and, uh, and that's the end of the pitcher. And here comes failure. Uh, he's, uh, he's, he's looking pretty handsome. Uh, he's, uh, he's wearing his glasses with a plum. Uh, that beard is... Mighty fine. Oh, don't throw the ball at him. What are you playing at? There we go. He put that one where the fielders weren't, and that's enough to get him on base, which is the uh, the failure move. 
uh, typically. Not doing very much, now but getting on base. The left field. Hookers will be hoping to make amends for his performance in the first innings. Leaves it. It's like I knew that was coming. Strike one. No way was that a strike. He's throwing those in a very good place. Uh, we had to take a go at that one. Couldn't risk it. Oh, what are you doing, hookers? Oh, my goodness, mate. That one was clearly going to Mars. Uh, there's no way you should have swung at that. Dearie me. Uh, and that retires no Bulldozer uh, there. The All right, here comes the pitch. We'll be hoping for a slightly better pitching performance than we had a batting performance there. There you go. Keeping them guessing with some really terrible pitches to start off with before throwing in a good one. That one missed by a country mile. That's ball three. Well, we haven't walked anyone yet this season and we don't plan on starting now. Oh! And Black and Count takes one right in the chops. Fortunately, uh, there is some justice afterwards, and the uh, the batter is run out on their way to first. Uh, is Black and Cow able? He's in extreme pain. Uh, his velocity's awful. I think we might have to. Uh, I think we might have to retire him early uh, on in the game because uh, because uh, he really did take that one at. Uh, at I mean, that, that was that was not attractive. Uh, completely unreasonable. Sally Rhythm's already played this season. Who else have we got here? Uh, it's time for Jeff Conservative uh, to come and take the field. Uh, he's uh, he's a realistic pitcher, is Jeff. And uh, oh, hang on, we've got we've got an uncanny angle going on here. Uh, let's see how this pans out. There we go. That's out number two. Uh, Jeff making an impact immediately by uh, by enforcing a, a very limp kind of a, uh, a hit there. Uh, that's, uh, no, no, no. You don't start them with a change-up. They're, they're never going to fall for that. Go on, get it. Throw to first. And that's three outs again. And, uh, and there we go. Uh, now three innings passed and the Dodgers have still yet to get a hit. As Bam Bam Puckeye uh, stares down, uh, uh, you would imagine her gaze being somewhat steely behind those glasses. Uh, trust me, it is a steely gaze. Uh, you can't sell that many t-shirts and not have a steely gaze. What are you throwing? Uh, as, uh, as Vincenzo is throwing pretty much garbage now at, uh, at Bam Bam. Oh, she hit that one though, but it's going to be out. Uh, unfortunate. Took the decision to hit there maybe a little later than was desirable uh, and paid the ultimate price as a result. Uh, what's Vincenzo got up his sleeve? This That was the nicest pitch I've ever seen in my entire life. And we didn't swing at it because that's the first pitch rule. But there we go. That one's gone up. And it's now living with the pigeons, uh, or in fact the uh, the fans at the uh, the back end of the stadium. 443 yard, uh, 40, 443 yard. That's a really long way. 443 foot uh, home run. Ninja Pumpkins first of the season. That's going to have him in an awfully good mood. Here's Carface. No. Do not want. Do want, possibly shouldn't have wanted, but we all want some things we don't want. No, oh, no, we shouldn't want. There we go. That's the right thing to say. That was a ball. Swing at it. No, no, no. That's a, that's a strike as well. That one's also gone high. Has Carface made it two for two? He has. That one has also left the building. Uh, it's accompanying Elvis off to his next gig. 441 feet. Carface's fifth home run of the season um, and uh, and arguably the strongest performance of any member of Bulldozer Power today so far, accounting for pretty much all the runs. This is Sonny Watt, uh, who had a studly performance earlier on. I don't know if he's going to make it at first in time. Yes, he is, because that fielder can't catch. Now batting, number 53, the catcher. 
Here's Steve Murray. Let's that one go. Let's that one go as well. This one feels good. Bosh! Steve gets on base. He'll be pleased with that. Uh, with his uh, with his gigantic smile, uh, a clear piece of evidence about the, uh, the the nature of the American dental system that he has a smile so large that it could cut glass. Here's Lee Hu. Has been playing quite well so far this year. Uh, we'll be hoping for a similar performance today. Wasn't great at his first at-bat, however, but that's already ball two. Swung at that. Oh, it's gone just down the line. That's beautiful. Uh, everybody's running. Kung Fu fighting. Uh, another run batted in there for Bulldozer Power as uh, Jeff Conservative, our relief pitcher. A uh, bit of a lefty. He's, uh, he's coming up and, uh, and seeing what he's got to play with today. Oh, very nice, Jeff. Uh, Jeff hits one as far as the boundary. We're going to make a we're going to make a double out of that. Excellent work. Uh, always nice to see a double from the pitcher. And here comes failure. Uh, two singles that he's hit so far today. Two of two. Uh, magnificent work. He's not afraid of this pitcher. Oh dear, uh, failure there, caught out by uh, by the shortstop, possibly the third baseman, I think it was the shortstop. Uh, they were playing out uh, jolly, jolly close to third there, so it's hard to say. Here comes Hookers. Soaking up the pitches. Taking a big swing at that one. Uh, that's gone as far as the fence. That'll be enough for a two base hit. And that's another run batted in. Beautiful performance. Takes Bulldozer Power to uh, to double digits. Maybe a little slower than in previous weeks. Here comes Bam Bam. She's not been terrific so far today. Uh, but give her time. She always delivers. She always delivers getting herself out by swinging at the first pitch again. Foolish. Very foolish. Uh, anyway, that puts uh, Bulldozer Power up. 10 to nothing at the bottom of the third. Uh, with 12 hits so far. Uh, again, this is looking like another dominant bulldozer now performance. Number 12, the third. So we've finally reached the top of the uh, the Dodgers batting order again. And my God, this guy's got some pretty staring mad eyes going on, hasn't he? Uh, I wonder just how alert he actually is. Uh, we'll start him off uh, with our, our famous left-handed curveball. Strike one. In fact... Because we, we feel like giving him a chance, we'll throw the same pitch again. Get it? Nope, still not so much on the diving. That's a fair ball. He's probably going to get a double out of that. Oh, what a bad way to, to, to start this innings off. Not only do they get a hit, but it's a double, and it is their first of the game. Here's Shining Coral. What exactly is she going to bring to the party? We wonder. That's a terrible pitch. And despite the, uh, uh, the the score so far, the pitching has not exactly been on point uh, in the game uh, up to this point. Uh, but we're hoping that, uh, that Mr. Conservative here can, can turn that or she's out. There you go. Good job. Oh, he made it a third. Always remember who's on base before you start any of that. Possibly could have got a double play out of that one, but didn't really think about it. Uh, down the man now. Uh, hitless so far, but then everybody we encounter up till the top of the order is going to be hitless, so uh, that's barely worth commenting on. Don't know why I did. Strike one. There we go. I don't, arguably threw to the wrong bases there. Should have thrown fourth first, but uh, uh, but getting it to first got us the other out, uh, and that's good too. Here's he's Mew, uh, the centre fielder. Uh, hitless today because just about everybody is. That's a nice pitch. Strike one. That's a nice pitch too. It's gone straight up in the air. Uh, Lee Hu is underneath it. And that's out. 
Uh, so the side retired again. One hit. They managed, though. Uh, well done, the Dodgers. Uh, you got one hit. Clever team. Good batting. Uh, right, and next up, it's, uh, it's Ninja Pumpkin. Two runs batted in today. Very nice. We don't like that one. Oh, unlucky. That one just went a little wide of the foul line. So did that one. Possibly should have left that one. Uh, that one kind of went a little wide of the foul line. That one didn't, though. And that's going to be caught out in center field. Uh, he's Mew there making up for his uh, uh, his rather poor batting performance. Uh, here comes Carface for his third at bat. His first two at bats uh, were both home runs. Strike one. Strike one, ball one. That'll do. This one, not a home run, but it's good enough to go up to centre field, and he's going to make the first base. One out for Bulldozer now Power so far. Number 13, Here comes Sonny Watts. He's, uh, he's banning 100% today. Don't swing at the first pitch. Very good. Oh, what are you doing? Oh, this timing was all over the shop there. Should not have done that. Uh, that's going to that's gonna leave an open net now uh, for the pitcher to, to throw all kinds of rubbish as that strike two. There's the first ball. That one felt high, but he swung at it anyway. It's in the crowd. Uh, well, that, was, that wasn't great. But he managed to redeem himself and get a nice swing out to centre field. Uh, very good. Bottom of the fourth. Here's Steve Morey. Batting 500 so far. One or two. And another relief pitcher comes in to have a go. Last relief pitcher. There's no Brickley Fury. The other relief pitcher. What was that? Was that a throw? What are you doing with your arm? Arms don't do that, man. Uh, but that's a nice hit. And uh, that'll, that'll get Steve up to first. Base is now loaded for Bulldozer Power. And to clean up, here comes Lee Hu. He hasn't had a home run yet this season, so maybe I'm hoping too much. An RBI would be nice, though. Strike one. I'm still trying to get used to this, uh, this pitcher's ungainly technique. Uh, but I'm sure... Uh, a fair ball is a fair ball. That's uh, strike one, ball two. Yeah, I saw that sinking, but that's going to get caught. Uh, and that's out number two. Possibly should have kept the run up there because we could have got in uh, before the catch was made. Here comes Jeff. Look at that steal. Uh, he's a man of mystery. Uh, and the mystery is, why doesn't he hit it like that more often? He's going to know he's out. He's not out. Everybody keep running. Uh, marvellous. I, I thought that one was uh, was a sure fire. Uh, gets everybody out kind of a manoeuvre. But as it turns out, no, it wasn't. And that's two runs batted in there by our relief pitcher. And he swung at the first pitch, which we don't usually allow. But when runs are scored, then it's perfectly acceptable. Failure now. Facing down a pitch. Strike one, ball one. Strike one, ball two. Swing, and it's good. Uh, gets him on base, and that's another run batted in. Uh, bulldozer power now on 13 runs. Uh, and once again, uh, the difficulty setting is uh, is very much looking like it's going to be upped. Uh, it doesn't look like the kind of day where records are broken, but you never know. We are only in the fourth inning. Steady on there, friend. No need to throw it straight at Mr. Hooker's. I know he's intimidating, and that's another base hit and another run. Uh, takes us to 14. Here comes Bam Bam. She's not going to swing at the first one this time. Uh, she's only uh, one of three today so far. Oh! Bean there. Uh, Bam Bam takes a ball to the knee, which is why she no longer does any adventuring. Uh, but uh, that gets her on base. Base is now loaded. Here's Ninja Pumpkin. Strike one. Ball one. That's good enough. Oh, what a catch. Uh, off third base. What a save there. What a clutch play from the Dodgers uh, to, uh, to save something that could have been uh, really quite run scoring. Yeah, sure. 
Uh, anyway, uh, Jeff Conservative retakes the mound uh, and will be facing down uh, the catcher, Joe Cooper. And that one's gone straight to centre field. Leading off with a hit for the Dodgers, uh, doubling their hit count so far. Here's Fernando Prowls. Uh, and he does look like a Fernando. Uh, whether or not he looks like a Prowls, I'll leave that one up to you. That's also a base hit. Throws a second. Throws the first. Okay, well, the runner to first made it in, so uh, Fernando got in, but we did get one out there, and that's uh, that's better than nothing. Uh, here's Wedge Diligence, uh, which is a tremendous name. Good hair, Wedge. Loving the hair. Oh, that one's gone very high. Uh, we're under it at centre field, but it's out of here. That's a home run for the Dodgers. Getting them off the uh, off the zero score. Uh, what do people say there? It doesn't really matter. Uh, but uh, but that's two runs there for the Dodgers, uh, and they'll be very pleased and probably quite relieved uh, to have opened their scoring line as uh, as Pansy Jock is now up to face Jeff Conservative. Uh, hopefully with a bit of a spring in her step, if uh, if she's hoping to complete the oh dearie me. Uh, that one's been popped up way high. Steve Watts underneath it, and uh, and that's all we all, all they wrote there. Here's Ben Radical, uh, the relief pitcher, who is now leaving. Oh, we, Ben, I barely even knew you. As uh, as Carlisle to go uh, is now uh, coming in as a uh, pinch hitter. Don't get used to being on the uh, team there, Carlisle. They're going to relieve you as soon as they need a pitcher. But he has got a he's got a, a nice a nice chunk of that one. That's going for the fence. And it uh, it hit the sidebar, came back in, was caught, but is classed as a home run uh, for some reason that we will later appeal if this game goes uh, goes close in terms of score. His fleshman with his mad staring eyes up for another go. And it, and it looks like the Dodgers have actually got the bit between their, their, their teeth. That's the thing you have your bit between. Um, as that's another double base hit there. Uh, and, uh, and we're going to be uh, scrutinising the performance of, uh, of Jeff Conservative now. To see if, uh, if he's starting to, to lose the zip out of his uh, uh, flinging. That's ball one. That one's all over the place. That's ball two. And that one has gone foul, but it's gone foul a very long way. Uh, Shining Coral there, uh, managing to get uh, get a, a large portion of the uh, of the pitch. That one, however, is going to have everybody. Oh no! Pitching woes. Uh, almost. Almost destroyed our chances there, but that's the side run out. Uh, the runner there to third uh, was quite happily, I don't know, what do they call it? Tagged, I think. I'm going to say stumped. Uh, that's how we'll describe it. Was stumped on his way into uh, into third base as, uh, as Wilbur Carface. Uh, three for three today with two home runs and four runs batted in. Um, could you get any more confident than this? Should have probably swung at that, but we don't swing at the first pitch. Uh, this is June Rubble, who's thrown two strikes so far. Car Carface has to swing at that one, really. Can't take the chance. It was going to be a ball, but he gave it a go anyway. It's the kind of guy he is, and he strikes out. Oh, Carface. What a letdown for all of us. Anyway, here's Sonny Watt, who is also 3-for-3 three three today, and, uh, and is not going to make the same mistake. Bosh. That one goes straight to centre field. Uh, and that puts a runner on base, uh, which is exactly where we want the runner to be until they get all the way around the plates and uh, into plates. Uh, they're not plates, they're bases. Gets all the way around the bases, comes home and has a nice cup of tea and maybe a ginger nut biscuit. What are you doing hitting that one? Here's a Steve Morrie. Getting caught out. 
almost running out uh, almost uh, almost running out what uh, as well but that's only one out here comes Lee who uh, the last chance for this the bottom of the fifth innings yeah Lee's seen it all before he's not falling for anything like that or that you're gonna have to throw a real one now oh what are you doing that was a walk you fall that's the one. Oh, oh my goodness uh well that's the second uh pitcher that we've seen destroyed uh today uh but that one was particularly vicious um i don't think she's getting up from that that one that one definitely definitely hurt oh oh i might i might if i weren't sitting down already i'd definitely be wanting a sit down about now because that was particularly egregious get your hand out your drawers there jeff uh, let's get on with the show. That's good enough to get him on base. Uh, Jeff, again, they're not delivering the finest of pitches. Uh, here's he's Mew. Uh, his, his season average is only 0.2, uh, which could see him get sent down to the minors, uh, which is not the same as being sent down to the mines. Uh, attempted base steal going on there. You're going to have to run back, though, because uh, that one went foul. Get under it. Get under it. No, that one's gone for as far as the fence. That's going to get them to just throw the ball. Yeah, he's going for home, look. All of that dilly-dallying there allowed them to get in another run. Uh, terrible fielding there from Bulldozer Power. Uh, and I don't really know who to blame other than uh, than whoever is responsible. Uh, here comes Joe Cooper. Let's see what she's made of. And that's a foul ball. Strike two. You know what we haven't thrown? Let's throw the old change up here. Bit of a change of room. Oh, and she fell for it. Get off the field, Joe. Oh, how easily you are suckered. Uh, here comes Fernando. He's had two at bats so far and uh, missed both. Uh, let's see if he's uh, if he can make amends for this. Obviously, we hope he doesn't. Strike one. See if he's also feeling like falling for a, a similarly paced change-up. Terribly thrown. He's popped that one up in the sky. Steve Morris underneath it. He's out. Now batting. Number eight. The short Here's Wedge Diligence. Got a home run last time he was here. Oh, wow. That one's gone high out to left field uh, where Hookers is underneath it. And that's the side retired. Uh, at the uh, top of the sixth innings, it is now odd. Well, going into the bottom, midway. Let's say that. Midway through the sixth innings, uh, it's Bulldozer Power 14. Uh, the Dodgers, four. Now batting number 43, the pitcher. Here's Big Jeff. Uh, he's two for two today. He's batting very nicely indeed. Wisely leaves that one alone. June Rubble, no trouble. Nope, that one, that one fell just a little short there, June. That one was uh, inside. That one's inside. Ball three. Yep. Maximum excitement. Ball three. Strike two. And a foul as well. Oh, it's all happening. Oh, dear Jeff. A late swing there. And that was a ball. You'd have had a walk there. Uh, Jeff, the nerves got to him. Uh, he bit on that one when he really shouldn't. Uh, June Rubble now being substituted. Oh, dearie me. Uh, and, uh, and in comes uh, Beaufort Tester, uh, who is a starting pitcher. So uh, it'll be interesting to see if he's uh, any good at all. He's got kind of a sidewood uh, uh, pitching uh, approach to the game, which so far has, has not resulted in uh, anything that I should be particularly worried about. That's ball three. And Failure's walking out to first there. Oh, he decides to take a jog. He's not going to rub it in. He now is uh, jogging his way out to first. And here comes uh, uh, B Jack Hookers. Uh, let's see uh, see what he can uh, he can make out of this. Ball one. 
ball too. That was quite tasty. Strike one. There you go. Hooker's got a piece of that. Out to right field. And that's enough to put him on base. Advancing failure to second. Here comes Bam Bam. She's only one for three today. She's still in a very, very good mood. Uh, despite being hit by a pitch earlier on. Swings at the first one. Gets out immediately. And, uh, and that's bad news. Here's Ninja Pumpkin. He's only one of four, but that was a home run. Seems like many of the uh, Bulldozer Power batters are being foxed by this unconventional pitching method, uh, but Pumpkin is not one to be foxed in such a way as he manages to get onto first, advancing yeah, failure to fourth. Th the third. Third. The one just before the one that makes the runs happen. Here's Carface. And that's good enough to get a run. Bases are remaining loaded now as Bulldozer Power get their first run in several innings, uh, which will come as a relief to uh, to all the fans of Bulldozer Power from around the world, of which there are several. Sonny Watt having a great day so far. Oh, his day would not have improved if he'd been hit by the ball, though. Outside, ball two, strike one. Oh, whoa, 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 foxed by a slow mover there. That one's going high. Strike two, ball three. Shouldn't have swung at it. That was going high. What are you doing? Oh, and he swung at that one as well. What a mug. Oh, dearie me. That was clearly a ball. He would have had another walk. That would have been another run. Um, and uh, and not for the first time. Bulldozer power being rattled uh, by a full count. Uh, here comes Pansy Jock. She's done nothing so far today. Uh, meanwhile, uh, Jeff of the Conservative, his, uh, his, uh, his arm's starting to fade a little, but he's got enough for this innings at least. That one's gone out to right field. Failure's underneath it, and that's out number one. Now batting, number 10, the pitcher. Here's Beaufort Tester. He's got, a, he's got a nice moustache, and he's wearing some eyeshadow. It's very fashionable among American sports persons this season. Ball one. Here's an easy one for you. Oh, strike one. Swung at that. Missed it by a country mile. Strike two. Strike three, uh, and uh, Tester there is uh, leaving the field as here comes Hemming Fleshman. Uh, he's two of three today, both doubles. Uh, he'll be hoping to continue that. The mad staring eyes have freaked out several pitchers, uh, despite the fact we've only had one uh, actually play today so far. That's strike one. But no, Conservative says, no, sir, that's uh, that's not on. Get out. Get off my pitch. As we go into the seventh inning stretch where people sing a little song about popcorn and, uh, and Cracker Jacks uh, and the like. Now batting, number 63, the catcher. Here's Steve Murray. He's going to leave the first one. It is very lucky not to get hit by the first one. Swings at the second one. Oh, the pitcher couldn't get to it. The second baseman couldn't get to it. This is very lazy fielding from the Dodgers because that was uh, that was barely moving at a walking pace. Here's Lee Hu. He's only one of four today, but he did get a double off it, so I suppose that's something. Uh, he'll be hoping not to uh, uh, not to upset the ecological balance of the team with this at bat. That's very nice. Makes it to the fence. That's enough for a double. Puts who on third uh, with uh, Steve Murray on... No, third, no. Murray's on third. Who is now on second? Uh, as I head towards an Abbott and Costello sketch. It's Jeff Conservative. That's ball two. 
He has a go at that. Oh, what a diving catch. I'm very impressed. Uh, second baseman there catching out Jeff Conservative. Despite the fact he got quite a lot of sting on that one. Uh, he's going to be shaking his hand for a little bit. Uh, going, ooh, that stung my hand a little bit. Uh, it's Tester against Failure. Uh, Failure wanged that one straight into the foul zone. He's wanged that one, though. And that one's going to the car park. Uh, he's going to pick up his keys from the concierge desk. Uh, he's going to get his Tesla Roadster. And he's going to drive home. 444 feet. Third home run of the season for Failure. Ninth RBI of the season. Dabbing. Deary me. Now back, number 35, left field. Here comes Hookers. Hookers having a respectable day so far. Ball one. And again, this pitcher does like to throw them very close to the batter. Strike one, too early on that one. Strike one, ball two. There's ball three. That's nice. Uh, Hookers gets underneath it. It's only good enough to get to the fence. Oh, he's decided to go for two. It's going to be close, but uh, not that close. Uh, there, Hookers gets a double. Here's Puckeye, one of four today. And uh, she will not be swinging at the first pitch. And finally, uh, that's Puckeye getting a, a good piece of the action there. Uh, and that's enough to get her on base. She'll be relieved. Uh, that will have taken quite a lot of the pressure off uh, for some lackluster performances uh, in the game to date so far today. Here's Ninja Pumpkin, third baseman. Strike one, ball one. That's very nice. That's going to centre field. Uh, it's just uh, grumbling along the floor there. Uh, just as well this uh, this pitch has been mowed recently. Otherwise that would get stuck in the weeds. Here comes Carface. He's four of five. Two home runs, two singles, five runs batted in. He's a man on fire. He's our player of the day. Grab his trading card uh, while it's still going at standard prices. Uh, he's got everybody out with that though. And that's what you get by being a hero, is you immediately give it up for a double play, and that's the side retired at the end of the seventh inning. It is now Baldo's Power 19, the Dodgers 4. Here's Shining Coral, she's done absolutely nothing. Uh, she's got an expression that says, like, I'm too good to play baseball, uh, which is arguably why she hasn't done very well today. Uh, maybe if she weren't too good to play baseball, she would... Uh, stop telling me stuff. She has, however, hit that one very, very, very high and into the waiting hands of whoever that is that plays centre field for us, whose name I should know. It's not Failure. He plays right field. Uh, it's not Hookers. He plays left field. Who plays centre field for, for the for Bulldogs? I should know this. I don't know this. Anyway, here's Dan the man, and uh, and he'll be hoping to get something uh, off this next series of pitches. We well, won't get anything off that. That was a horrendous ball. Strike one. He's popped that one up in the sky. Bam Bam looks like she might be under it. She is. He's out. Now batting, number 24. Here's he's Mew, uh, one of three today, and that one was a double. Pitcher puts no effort into that. Gets him at the plate, though. No, gets not at the plate, at the base. Uh, stumped him on the way to the base, and that's he's Mew retired, side retired, and uh, a midway through the eighth inning there. Uh, nothing showing for the Dodgers. They're really going to have to turn it on in the ninth uh, if they're not going to have uh, a, a, a walk-off, frankly. Here's Sonny Watts. Swing and out. Uh, beautiful work. Now batting, number 63, the Here's Steve Morey. Smile as big as Thanksgiving. And he's out as well. Now batting, number 30, the first baseman. Here's Lee Hu. 
steely glance down the plate field's edge there. Uh, strike one. That's a ball. Yeah, he's hit that one foul. That's strike two. That's a ball as well. So is that. Full count. Oh, what? Referee. There was no way that was legit. That was too low. Uh, well, okay. Well, I, I disagree. Um, but uh, there you go. That's uh, Bulldozer Power retired there. Uh, not a lot doing in that in particular inning. Here's Joe Cooper. She's having a diabolical season so far. And, uh, and Jeff Conservative... Well, this is it. If he can, if he can make three outs here, he'll have bowled the entire game. Uh, pitched, I think they call it. Uh, or do we sub him for someone who is not quite so tired? It's what relief pitchers are for, right? Let's uh, let's make it happen. So this will be our second reliever. Given that uh, we lost our starter fairly early on uh, to being uh, hit. No, hold on. Nothing happened there. Let's try that again. Uh, and it's going to be Tulip Banter, who's uh, who's now coming in. Uh, in place of Jeff Conservative, who's, who's pitched very well for a reliever, has to be said. And uh, we'll, we'll start out with a curveball in that way that we like to. Dive. Okay, that was something. Still not exactly nailed uh, diving as the, uh, as the fielding unit. As Fernando Prowse comes up to the plate, he's done nothing so far today. Uh, is he going to break his duck against banter? which I assure you is entirely authentic language. Could have got the double play there, but didn't. Uh, Bam Bam throwing uh, to the safety of first uh, because she hadn't quite considered the fact that that runner would make it to second. Uh, as uh, Wedge Diligence, the shortstop, uh, is now next at bat to try and give a glimmer of hope to the Dodgers. Hits that one foul. And that's ball one. That's ball two. Uh, no, no, that's strike two, because that was a foul. There you go. Get, I mean, your terminology is all over the show today. What's that going to do? Can he dive? No, he, he decides to just do kind of a little a little hop over the top. Throw out to home. Terrible throw. And it's gone wide. Tell you what, let's let everybody else get in as well. Is this going to be an infield home run? No, it's not. Uh, just absolutely wretched uh, uh, defense there from Bulldozer Power. It's like, as usual, they've gone, we are so far ahead. They are. They have signed out of this match. Uh, they're already thinking about what they're going to have at the uh, the team uh, celebratory meal at Pizza Hut immediately after this, because like any good coach, I take the, uh, the team to Pizza Hut after a win. That's a foul. Um, and there we go. So that's strike two. They can even have the salad bar. I don't mind in the slightest. That one's gone way up in the sky. Steve's going to try and get under it, but that's landed on top of the dugout. Still strike two. No balls thrown yet. Uh, we might throw one here, though, and uh, and see how, how she feels about that. That's another foul. If there's a foul to be hit, uh, pin, uh, Pansy Jock will find a way to hit it. Really? Try harder. And that's out. Now batting, number 10, the pitch. You're going to get subs, mate. I can feel it. There you go. Uh, bring in a pinch hitter for uh, Beaufort Tester, and it's uh, Better Overly, uh, which apparently is a name. Oh, well, she gets a hit. Uh, that's good. As Carface, Carface plays centre field. There we go. And only the star of the flipping... That's probably why he got out so easily, because I couldn't remember his name. Uh, but yes, Carface from centrefield throws to uh, home, uh, preventing the run. Yeah, sure, do that. I mean, at least you... Oh, my goodness me. Uh, another fielding error there. And uh, and that looks like a... Th <laughs> that's a triple there, um, which, uh, which is pretty unpleasant. Is this a comeback? Well, don't call it a comeback. Uh, it's only seven now. Seven plays 19. Uh, and they do have two outs. Uh, but Tulip's, uh, Tulip's going to be a little bit shaken. Especially given that that one looked quite tasty as well. That one could go the distance. 
has gone the distance uh, and that's a home run Tulip Banter having a having an absolute stinker uh, relief pitching and that is uh, 19 plays 9 now is Dan the man don't underestimate him uh, he might be having a stinky season uh, but uh, okay he swung at that and he really shouldn't have that's strike one Strike one, ball one. That one has also that one has also got some speed, and that's another home run. Uh, as the uh, uh, for the first time this season, Bulldozer Power give up double digits, uh, and uh, still don't call it a comeback. They are nine runs behind, um, but uh, but the Dodgers now showing some signs of life. Arguably a little bit late for them to do anything with it. Uh, but we'll be taking Tulip off if she doesn't manage to get something out of this. Foul. Strike one. And that's strike two. Make amends here, please. That's a ball. And that's a foul. And here we are. We're back in foul junction again. Uh, Tulip. She's a little bit rattled. But she can get this done. I believe in you, Tulip. Ball two. Lucky pitch. Lucky pitch. And that's another foul. We could be here a while. Make yourselves comfortable. Don't start for the car park just yet. The game's not over. That's ball three. Full count. Two outs, two strikes, three balls. Something has to happen now. Throw it straight down the middle. There we go. That'll do it. Oh no, no, the fielders are all over the show. That won't do it. That's a, that's a, bat, that's a runner at first. Now, here comes Joe Cooper. Uh, arguably had one of the better performances for the team today. Uh, two of four. Good pitch. That'll do it. And that's the side out. That's the game over. Bulldozer Power win, but uh, not without trying to throw it away in the ninth inning. Uh, but somehow they managed to cling on and hold it together and get the job done. So when it came down to it, uh, the uh, the Dodgers there put in six runs in the ninth, uh, which would, if they'd managed to do that earlier in the game, this could have been more exciting. Uh, as it was, it wasn't. And there's your, your batting score sheet there. All the batting and scores that are uh, that are ripe to be uh, to be checked out. Uh, and it is Carface who managed to uh, accomplish the most with two home runs. Very nice indeed. Five runs batted in. Failure batted in four runs on himself uh, and got hit with the ball as well. Lovely. On the pitching side of things, Black and Kelt was actually looking pretty respectable with two strikeouts. Uh, but uh, then when he got knocked out, uh, we had to take him out of the game. Uh, that's uh, a, a game where, uh, where two pitchers got struck really rather viciously uh, with the ball. And I know that's, that's a, largely the reason that many of you watch. Uh, but even so, it's, it's, it's not sporting. It's, uh, it's not the kind of thing that we really want to see too often, apart from every game. So as if any uh, introduction were needed, here are your three stars for today's game. Wilbur Carface, uh, Ulysses Failure, and Jeff Conservative, the relief pitcher, uh, gets a nod in the MVP awards as well. Now, as much as Bulldozer Power are the stars of the show, quite clearly, uh, let's get the scores from other games as well. So it's the Nomads versus the Explosives. Can't really make it out there, but that's 10 to 4 in favour of the Nomads as the Raptors take on the Ocelots. Uh, good fight back from the Ocelots. Uh, it's it's going to go the distance though. No, the Ocelots getting it done 15 to 6. Eagles versus Pirates. And it's the Eagles that come away with the win. Here's the Leprechauns, last week's opponents against the Champions. <laughs> the Champions come from behind to demolish the Leprechauns late on. Excavators versus the Fruit Bats. And oh, it's, it went to extra innings, but the Fruit Bats came away. Here's the Monty Express uh, versus the Swingers. Monty Express just demolishing the Swingers early on, 19 to 4. Uh, Leprechauns now playing the Raptors. And they managed to win that one. Makes a change. Uh, here's the Nomads versus the Excavators, and the Nomads come ahead again uh, with the Aardvarks against the Eagles. An easy win for the Aardvarks. 
uh, and that uh, brings us up to speed. Uh, and as you can see, uh, the only teams remaining undefeated are Bulldozer Power and the Ocelots, uh, with the Aardvarks on three and one, and uh, a tie in the bombastic division between the Fruit Bats and Champions on two and one. So the next game of the season will once again see the difficulty increased as Bulldozer Power take on the Brown Sox. Uh, and that's surely going to be an amazing game. Uh, I insist that you buy your season ticket by pressing the subscription button right now and uh, be sure to tune in the next one. Finger like if you enjoyed this game. I'll catch up with you very soon. I've been Colonel Failure. Cheerio. Cheerio.